many churches have a traditional worship service and then also have cell groups. The one another commands are hardly fulfilled in their traditional worship service. Normally, get on. But the one another commands are fulfilled to a great extent in the cell groups. So, meron tayong churches na ganon. So, isipin natin yung one another commands, guides. Worship service, halos hindi nangyari. Ngunit, in the cell groups, nangyari. Pwede mangyari. Kaya, isipin natin ito. How much effort is put into preparing for a traditional worship service, and how much benefit is received? And then, how much effort is put into cell group meetings, and how much benefit is received? Is it worth the effort to include traditional worship services? Nasa inyo yan. Nasa inyo. Pwedeng gawin. Pwedeng hindi gagawin. Another option is simply transform OBSs or cells into house churches without gathering them together for a traditional worship service. So, ang option yan. So, yan ang pinag-usapan natin last week yung three options. Marami na dahing OBS. Dahin sa mother church, pagsamasamahin, or magiging house church. So, isipin, kung pagsamasamahin, yung effort na i-exert for the worship service, sulit po ba? Karaniwan, pag ganun, all of our effort goes to the worship service. Yung outreach, nawawala. Growth, making disciples, pagpaparami, it plateaus. Because of the great effort, time, put into the worship service every week, Linggo na naman, linggo na naman, darating, darating. Alam natin ang pressure na yan. Every Sunday, kailangan meron. Kung wala. Lahat ng effort na yan, we can put into making disciples, fulfilling the one another plans in house church meetings. Isang option yan. Isang option. Nasa inyo yan kung ano ang gagawin. Dalawang pinag-usapan natin, pag-usapan natin pareho. Yung isa ay uh, para magkaroon ng house church na nakakapagtupad sa so one another commands. Um, para nagawin, pag magplant ng bagong church, doon gagawin. From the mother church, mahirap gawin. Pero we'll get there, Pastor Ray. Sa mother church, mahirap gawin. Kasi hindi sanay. Pero sa bagong church, Kung yan ang gagawin from the start, wala silang ibang alam. M- mga kapatid, maraming beses nagawa po na ito sa bagong church. Kung may pakakataon, umaten sila sa traditional church, sabi niya sa akin, Kuy Dave, bakit sa church na inatenda namin, wala silang sharing-sharing? Bakit walang prayer for one another? Bakit hindi ko maisabi yung, yung pagsubok ko? Nabigo sila kasi dumating, umupo, Magandang hapon po, sa inyong lahat, uwi na tayo. So, nagulat sila dahil wala silang ibang alam. From the start, yan ang uri ng church na ginawa. So, sa atin, as we're planting new churches, in the new churches, it's so easy to do. It works the best because it's God's design, and all they know is what the Bible says. Wala silang extra biblical traditions. Wala. Maganda. Okay, ngayon, sa existing church. Okay. Sa existing church, anong gagawin? Suko na? Para magsimula na magkakaroon ng one another ministry pagsama-sama. See Hebrews 10, 24, 25. Sabi dyan, do not neglect uh, the assembling of yourselves together, but stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Magkasama yan eh. Ang laging ginagamit natin, do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together. Pero sabi dyan, <clears throat> do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together, but stimulate one another to love and good deeds when you do assemble together. So, for my existing church, paano po going? Suggestion lang po. Pagkatapos ng sermon, normal sermon, sige, mag-sermon, kasi sanay sila sa sermon. Mag-sermon. Pagkatapos ng sermon, magkaroon ng konting sharing. Paano nangusap ang Diyos sa iyo sa pamamagitan ng sermon? Mag-sharing sa iyong katabi. Yun na lang muna. Yun na lang muna. It's a huge improvement. Huge. At pwedeng gawin, mga kapatid. 
pag ako ay guest speaker in another church, hindi sila sanay sa ganito, I always do that. I always do that. I never speak in a church na purong sermon lang. Never. Kahit sa anniversary niyo, Pastor Michael, meron konting interaction, di ba? Oh, malaking grupo. Thousands. I've done this in churches of thousands of people. And you can do it in a church of 20 or 5,000. Put in going. So huwag niyong isipin, it's got to be a small group. You can do it in a big group. So isang simple ang gagawin, sermon, paano nanguusap ang Diyos sa'yo? Mag-share sa'yo ang katabi. Isa pa, simple ang gagawin, magbuo ng grupo ng mga tatlo, apat, lima, mag-share sila, ano ang kanilang pangangailangan, may isa sa grupo mananalangin. Kung ganun, it's prayer for one another. Imbis na pastoral prayer. Si sabi ng Bible, pray for one another. Sa group of five, hindi pwedeng lahat mananalangin, mahihiya ang more than half. Pero sana there's at least one in the group of five. Pwedeng sa dyan, you can appoint group leaders. Yeah. Appoint group leaders. Kung if you have 50 in your worship service, 10 leaders na okay mananalangin, group of five, Okay, anong pangailangan nyo? Ipanalangin sila. Madali lang, simple lang, napakalaking improvement. Napakalaking. So, konting mukahi yan. Pastor Ray, makakatulong? Okay, good. Kung ganun, we're moving toward, moving toward the one another's mangyari sa worship service. Okay, ngayon, next. Uh, page three. Same format, but in a house. Same format, but in a house. Mga kapatid, ingat kayo dito. Same format, but in a house. Kung minsan po, meron po mga house church. Sabi na, house church na kami. Kagay nito. Ngunit, ang ginagawa sa house, pareho lang sa ginagawa sa traditional. Pareho lang. Kung ganun, walang silbi eh. It's the same. The same lang. Hindi, hindi ganun ang ating hinahanap. Hindi. Nakakalungkot. Meron silang magandang setting, tapos nakapila din ang mga upuan, nakaharap pa rin, sermon pa rin, announcements pa rin, offering pa rin, uwi pa rin. Hindi <laughs> ganun eh. Ang hinahanap natin, katuparan ng one another phrases. Yan. One another commands. God's design for the church. Okay. Tapos, ang pwede din mangyari, same format, but in a cell group. Meron din eh. Meron din. Meron mga church, worship service, meron mga cell group, cell group, pero anong ginagawa in the cell group? The same as the worship service. Ceremon, praise and worship, pastoral prayer, Offering, announcements, uwi na. Meron din cell groups na ganun. I've been to many. <laughs> oh. Hindi ganun ang ating hinahanap. Hinahanap natin yung ministry to one another. Yun. So, paano gagawin? Paano pwedeng gawin? Mga kapatid, meron tayong paraan. Seven components. Seven components. Kung ano ang ating ginagawa in our OBSs, ganon pa rin po ang gagawin in the house church. Worship. Makakaroon ng kandahan, awitan, at saka, ising it, o pagkatapos, lahat magpapasalamat. Oo. So, hindi lang yung worship leaders. Kundi lahat ng miyembro, pwede ito ba yun, magpasalamat. Itong ginagawa namin. Nakakahipo sa puso. Ito ang mga taong nahirap. Every Sunday, nagpapasalamat sila kay Lord. Ang itinuro lang sa kanila, magpasalamat. Konting dagdag paliwanan. Alam natin, bilang mga magagawa, may, may konting pag, may, may pagkaiba sa pagpapasalamat at pagsamba. Alam natin yan. So, nung itinuro natin yung panalangin, hindi natin itinuro yung ACTS, Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, Supplication. Kasi yung adoration, worship yan, mahirap ituro sa paguhan. 
ang pwedeng ituro sa kanila, magpasalamat, madali lang. Pero tingnan nyo, mga kapatid, as time goes on, pagbabasa sila ng Bible, ang kanilang papapasalamat, it evolves into worship din. Panginoon, dakila ka, ang tapat mo sa amin. Hindi kami pinabayaan, Lord. Salamat sa iyong uh, patuloy na kabutihan sa amin. Pinupuri ka namin, Panginoon. It, it becomes worship. Sila ay nag-worship through their prayers. Maganda. So there, in the, in the house church, pwedeng ganun uri ng worship. O nga, may awitan. Meron din. Boom, buo. Walang bawas. With worshipful prayer. Bawat isa. Not, not everyone. If everyone, okay. Kung kalahati, okay. Kung tatlo lang, mas mabuti kayo sa pastor lang. So, worship. Tapos, accountability. Sa previous meeting, nagplano sila anong gagawin. Para isa sa buhay yung pinag-aralan. Sinong babahaginan. The next week, accountability. Mga kapatid, anong nangyari? Kumusta? Kumusta ang pababahagi kay Ate Shirley? Kumusta ang pababahagi kay Kuya Ray, yung plano mo? Kumusta yung isi ng buhay na tayo maging mas matatag sa pagsubok natin? Mag-share sila. Kung ganoon, it's because of the accountability with one another, it's stimulating one another to love and good deeds. Yun. Mangyari. So yung follow-up na gagawin patuloy in the house church, patuloy, hindi mawawala. Malaking paraan, para to parin yung one another commands. Then next, number three is the new lesson. Lagi my new lesson. Pero, in the new lesson, hindi lang sermon. In the new lesson, lahat mag-share para nangusap ang Diyos sa kanila through the new lesson. Para nila isa sa buhay ang new lesson. Kung ganoon, they're ministering to one another, stimulating one another to love and good deeds, encouraging one another, caring for one another through the new lesson. So yung one another's mangyari. So kailangan meron new lesson, pero di basta anong classic new lesson. Kailangan new lesson na the methodology, kung anong content, at anong content, the methodology needs to release the body to learn from the new lesson and minister to one another around the content of the new lesson. And it's all there in our T4T materials. It's all there. Sige na lang, it's all there. Kung anong ating ginagawa, gagawin pa. Maruno na tayo, ginagawa na. Itutugoy pa. Number four, vision casting. From the new lesson, meron din hamon. Magbahagi pa tayo. May hindi paligtas. Ang ganda ng ating fellowship. Ano? Mapalag tayo. Ano? Yung iba. So lagi may vision casting. Kung ganun, it's a challenge sa kanila. Stimulating one another to love them. And they share with each other. Oh, yun. Nagbahagi ako kay Ate Shirley. Nagbahagi na ako sa tatlong tao sa Barangay Hall. And they stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Yeah. Not just from up front. And then the action plan. Okay, batay sa new lesson, paano isasagawa? Paano isasabuhay? And sinong babahaginan? Kung ganoon, the ministry to one another continues in that way. Then, magpa-practice. Magpa-practice kung paano mag-share sa iba. Kung ganoon, patuloy, matutupad yung one another. And then the pastoral prayer. Prayer for one another. Ano mga needs? Ipapalangin ang kasama sa grupo. Ginagawa na natin, gagawin pa. So, sa ganitong format, ito po ay isang paraan para mangyari itong one another phrases. So, ginagawa na natin sa mga OBS, gagawin pa sa katagalan, pwede pa rin sumunod sa ganitong formats, format para to pa rin yung one another commands sa mga bagong churches kung anong sabihin natin yung karaniwan house church na gagawin. Practicing the one another's. Imagine a church that does very little to practice the one another commands. Imagine another church that fulfills these commands regularly and effectively. Ang ganda. Which church will be more effective in making and multiplying disciples? Malaking bagay. Super laking bagay. How important is it to, to, to fulfill the one another commands in our churches? 
นำลงโอเค options for your OBSs there are three options for your for what you will do with your OBSs for the long term three options bring them to your church Agsama Samahi or house church three options in and three options not in okay how might the study of the one another commands affect your decision how might this study of the one another commands affect your decision alin gagawin sa t a d o p a d i ko ba magshare sa inyong churchmates how might this study of the one another commands affect your decision Okay, s i g i p o